Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more uh, Factorio. It's a rocket for patient right now. We're getting ready for advanced electronics. We need some more some more thermal water stuff so we can make some more things and stuff. We also need some more iron. Javolite. How about that Javolite, eh? Uh, let's turn off the pollution for a second see if we can find another Javolite deposit. We've got... Um, that's not Javolite. No, it is. That is apparently Javolite, really? I guess the machine's kind of covered up a bit, so that's probably Javolite. Okay. That's thermal water. That's probably Javolite as well. That's a Javolite deposit right over there. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I think we gotta go on the warpath. Go get some Javolite so we can get some iron so we can get some stuff done. In the meantime, there is a small amount of lithia um, being generated via the thermal water. And there's some iron being made, but via a less than efficient process um, for pure iron generation. We're going to use the the wall set, restore. Ah, shoot. I forgot to save the other one first, and I think I made some modifications to it. Darn. That car is totally blending in. I'm going to pick it up. <clears throat> Our thing back on. Yeah, so here's the thing. If we can just finish advanced electronics, make a few of these little bits and bobs, then we're going to have the ability to make... Hmm... Where are they? This. Yeah, I want to make flotation cell Mark 3s, which are 50% faster at crafting, for only 20% more energy. Okay. I suppose there's probably some of this stuff I could get rid of. Quite a bit of it, in fact. Let's get rid of most of the circuits and stuff right now. I don't think I ever need circuit boards on me. Get rid of most of these things. A lot of lasers. Need the storage tanks right now. Certainly don't need the empty barrels. Oh, just drove into the RoboPort. Oops. All right, we're gonna go establish a new outpost over there. Should have some gates in here. There they are. Got two whole cars. Can you believe it? That's so many. Oh, hi. Hello there, biters. Yes, hello. Uh, let me teach you why you should not try to live outside my base. Look at that poisonous, fiery gas stuff. Yuck. All right, we're gonna just walk a little bit, I think, because it'll be faster. We got a sniper rifle on us now, which is actually just gonna mess with my ability to. That's not what I meant to do. All right. I seem to have toggled a run button, and I can't remember what this, what what button it is. Uh, there is a button that I have to toggle running or not, because eventually, if I get yes, yeah, the slowness key, caps lock, apparently. There we go. Okay, we're going to that. Probably going to want to kill most of the bad guys around here, just because... Uh, well, they're bad guys. That's good enough reason as any, right? If I can actually... Can I, can I actually reach this thing? Nice. Look at me, I'm doing work. Can you believe it? Look at this, I'm actually doing some of the fighting. Alright, that's about enough of that. These all repaired up so they don't take up extra space in my inventory, and then we will remove some of the ones in the back. Press forward.
Got some Crantinium. This is this yellow stuff kind of looks like poison to me. Makes me feel like I should be like dying as I walk through it. Okay, a couple more bases. We might be out of repair packs. Oh no, it's not that I was out of repair packs, it's just a sniper rifle. Which, uh, you know, honestly, I don't I don't really want that anymore. Of course, I kind of need the sniper rifle to murder the, the chest, don't I? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Let's do this. No, don't repair it. I just want to kill it. No guns allowed. We are peaceful people. Okay, Javolite. I need a bunch of Javolite to go with all that Sapphirite. <clears throat> Get some iron into the base. And then we can make some rockets. These, all the biters are starting to become like the behemoth color. They're all getting to that dark greenish color. I like how they can still, sh they still shoot even if I've got them set to deconstruct, which is very convenient. Alright, game. Had about enough of your biterness. Let's go build a Chipolite deposit base thing. Up there. Now, the real question is, am I going to make a big, huge perimeter wall? Please tell me that. God damn, it's Bobmonium! Well, I guess we're not going here. I don't need Bobmonium. got tons of that crap. They look so, so similar on the map, didn't they? Let's just stop for a second. That versus... Yeah, no, that was Bobmonium, I guess. This Javolite deposit... Uh, it's a little bit darker. Those look the exact same to me. Okay, those are definitely different colors. And that looks darker to me than that one did. Huh. Yeah, that's gonna be the Javolite then. And that's probably Javolite. That's probably the Javolite. Yeah, that's really far away. That stinks. Well, I mean, Sapphirite plus Javolite, right over there. Ugh. What a pain in the butt. Do I ever feel guilty about all the biters that I've murdered? Do I ever feel like maybe I shouldn't kill quite so many? No, I don't. No. Well, um... This is going to be significantly more work now. Perhaps what I could do is just uh, maybe even set up, since the Sapphirite and the Javolite are both right there, I could just set up some crushing into iron ore and then just do an iron ore train. It'd be interesting. Something, something different. Let's see, are we making any headway on this science thing? Let's 
see what is what is the hold up. I'm guessing it's uh I mean there's some iron being made, so we got that going, which is okay. Honestly, I should just redirect all the Jabolite and just do regular iron ore smelting. Like we don't need all this other stuff that it's making, I don't even really need it. Not right now anyway. So wherever this guy was. Yeah. I keep on tearing down old setups thinking, oh yeah, I'm never I'm never gonna use this again, you know? Like I should I should stop using it. But that's just not true. It's just not how it works. Remember correctly, the ratio is still for these guys after it's been crushed. So this should work out. Gosh darn it, I just want to make some Javolite crushing stuff. And yes, we're going to redirect. For the moment, again, all Javolite and Sapphire should just be able to go this way. I think. That's not right. Okay. sure why the robots are having such a hard time keeping up with this stuff like there are 738 available construction robots yet these tasks aren't being assigned so either I'm the only one with any of these things actually on me which I suppose is possible but I know I set up level one two and three all three tiers of the these things so there should be these in the network as a provider we've got no belt. That's based on logistic network. There's only only work if there's less than 50, but that means that there are 50 of that. Okay, so we've got some of each of those. We've got some of these. None of these. Because there's no transport belt. He's requesting transport belt. So it should be made there. This makes transport belt. Looks like they're trying. It could just be still a lack of iron. It's holding it up, I suppose. That's rather annoying. Alright, fine. I'll just go work on it again. Build it all by hand, because the robots are being lazy bastards. Also, I could have just... Ah, uh, whatever. Don't, don't, just don't. Just don't worry about it.
Okay, um... How was this supposed to be again? You and you are merging into one. There we go. Alright, for once and for all, I'm gonna, like, save this darn blueprint and not keep on rebuilding it. Okay. So, let's do the sapphire crushing on top, yes. I swear, I've done this multiple- I've built this darn thing multiple times, and then I'm like, Oh yeah, I got this new advanced angel's ore thing, I should probably just crush, you know, differently, or something. That's not true. Alright, I'll clear that out. Clear some of that out. Okay, so those guys are getting turned on. You are... on the wrong direction. You're on, you're on, you're on. Just gotta wait. Okay, looks like this thing's starting to get functional here. Things are dying, it was just a laser, it's fine. And then this is the only one that's a little bit tricky because it's got to have the double feed. Because it's the iron ore crusher guy. So I should just never have taken this one apart. Um, getting the ratio correct on ores produced is the only real tricky part uh, remaining with the angels ores part of this. Petrochem is still a little tricky here and there, but... Okay, and then the last thing we need to do is... Hmm. I don't even care if it's not perfect, I just want to get it done. Ugh. It's just one tile away from... Alright, fine. I'm gonna move this down. Okay, please make iron ore again. The requester warehouse itself doesn't really need to request anything. Hmm. I think I'll instead just make this into a passive provider. So we're taking the full feed from all sapphire and all javoilite. Make iron go. I still feel like I should be trying to establish this base over here. And you are requesting... ...to here, because I set the thresholds a little bit higher, because I did have some in storage. So because this is a passive provider, and this is requesting it, they are going to try to take it there. They're only going to put a small amount. Once it gets up to 2,500, then they'll just stop. Still seems like a waste of energy, but... I mean, eventually, I do want to bleed through any backlogged, like, supply that I've got anywhere. I've got to find a... <clears throat> a way to get it out of storage and into processing.
Okay, um... Okay, that's done. I added more power at one point, but I still want more iron ore. Green, 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 green. We have got 5k already. I feel like maybe I actually need more than this. Let's see, 40 thirds items per second divided by one half side is 20 thirds item per second, and you're able to consume two every one second with a crafting speed of 1.5 times four machines, that's 12 per second. And we've got 40 divided by three times two because it's a red belt, divided by two because it's half of a belt, it's 13. So this should be able to support four, but we're producing two every one second. Crafting speed of 3 times 4 machines. 24 per second. So yeah, I need, I, I need another column of this. Which I probably already had, I just took it apart for reasons. Thinking that the other angels' ores would be... Other angels' like processing methods would work better for me, and I was wrong. I'm gonna get this darn blueprint right, and I'm gonna be done with this soon. So we take that chunk. We take this chunk. Hmm, I wonder if I could do it, like, right in line with it. Let's just see what this looks like. If we put them here, and then it, instead of even sending this back, we just collide these across from each other, send it further down, and then send the whole thing back. Just have one big long column going down. These would still need more space, because... It should be about down here, but... How could that be done? One more time on the math here. Two divided by two. One second. Crafting speed of three means that two of these guys load up half of red belt. So just two of these should combine together. I want to make a new. I want to make a new one. Based roughly on the idea of one warehouse per like stage of processing, but what if we have the Stuff that you need coming out. Stuff that you need coming out. One belt is going to provide... Uh, 26.66 items per second. And you need a total of... Two every one second. Times... Crafting speed of three times four is 24. So yes, one red belt supports all four of these machines. Got it. That part's done. This part's going to be identical. So there's really no reason to be rebuilding it, but I am. I want to make sure I get this thing right. But maybe we can give ourselves more space if we wrote we alternate. So instead of going splitter under splitter under, we can go splitter, and then you could go. Well, actually, I need. Uh, well, I could do it this way then. 
whole reason why they were spaced that far apart was because we were doing it like that, but I don't necessarily have to do it that way. I could do this. And if this is going to be the output now, we could go to here. Which then doesn't give me space for the splitter. I might still need to do... one space in between them. Instead of two. But then these guys could like merge together. You're underground to just here. Then you split off for his feed. And then we do it again. Alright, so you're down. Get our power here and here. We get lights here and here. We strip this whole thing. We grab this whole guy and we alt R R R. Put that there. We then kill those. Make them into Javolite. Set you to a Javolite ore feed, set you to a Sapphire ore feed. And then since we're combining these... I need to leave two in the center, I think, so we'll go two underground there. Merge these guys together on that spot. And over here, you go underground. Really, it doesn't need to stay open the whole time. One... And it's gonna end up. It's it's fine. We can just go underground with the uh, the return feed, which means I think instead of having, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. I want to see the crisscrosses. I think that that'll look nice. So these are already going to be hybrid lines, which means I can move you over a little bit. And since we've moved in by two, I could probably move up by one on either side. You are a hybrid line with a split off. We'll do the same thing where we like do the inputs on one side and the outputs on the other side. So you're going to get your input where... Go input there. So input, input. And then we can duplicate this part. So you guys are loading up onto one side, and then this whole thing is going to get duplicated again. We can get away with fewer splitters by doing it like that, I guess. Not that the number of splitters is really that big of a deal, but... Get rid of this. Alt R, R, R. And then... Throw it down right here. Need electrical power. Might make sense at this point to start just trying to go straight for the uh, 
the substations. These don't need to be splitters anymore. A substation would be capable of powering pretty much this entire region. I just put it like right here. And if I put another one, get rid of these. Put him over here. Um, still kind of like the idea of doing a little bit of lights, though. Do those lights. Can't make any more of these. Alright, so this whole thing's powered. It just needs to now be completely finished. You are not supposed to be a splitter anymore, either. I like the idea of having a singular production chain. That part is, is very appealing. Um, standing, expanding that thing out to there just so that we've got like a power hookup from somewhere else could be decent. And uh, what has stopped me from making more of these guys? Stone. Stone brick, actually. All because I probably didn't save the rule set. There's no button to update, annoyingly. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to take a short break here. Um, apologize for like re rebuilding the wheel or whatever you'd call it. Uh, doing the same sort of Javolite slash iron ore hybrid melting station of doom multiple times. But uh, I like this one. This one looks pretty. The only thing to do then is set up the Javolite ore, the Sapphire feed, and then beyond that, it just automatically just turns it all back in iron. There's there's only a couple little inputs here, which is quite nice. So, even though we already have this one, let's bring these up this way and see what happens. And then I run out of ore. Or run out of belt, rather. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here, and in the next episode, we will see exactly how well this thing functions, if at all. Well, uh, hopefully I didn't make any major mistakes in the layout, and it will do a good job. We'll see. So, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode. See you soon.